The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, destroys cells of the immune system, making the body vulnerable to a host of diseases. HIV has surface proteins called GP120 that attach to cells that have CD4 receptors on their surfaces. CD4 is found on the immune system's helper T lymphocytes and on scavenger cells called macrophages. The binding to CD4 and other cell surface proteins called co-receptors, not shown here, allows the virus to fuse with the cell. The lipid membrane of the virus incorporates into the cell's membrane while the viral core enters the host cell. During entry, the core uncoats, allowing the viral genetic material, which is RNA, to enter the cytoplasm. In addition to RNA, the virus carries enzymes that participate in the first few stages of viral replication. Before the virus can commandeer the cell to make more viruses, viral enzymes must first convert the viral RNA into DNA. The viral enzyme reverse transcriptase copies the RNA into complementary DNA or cDNA. Reverse transcriptase has a high error rate and frequently leaves mutations in the copied DNA. The mutations result in variant forms of HIV, which allow HIV to evolve quickly. The viral RNA is destroyed by another viral enzyme called ribonuclease H. Reverse transcriptase then synthesizes a second DNA strand using the first strand as a template. The double-stranded viral DNA enters the nucleus with several types of viral proteins, including an enzyme called integrase. Integrase enzymes splice the viral DNA into the host cell's chromosomal DNA. The integrated viral DNA is known as a provirus. The synthesis of the viral genome begins with the transcription of the proviral DNA into RNA. The viral RNA contains the code to produce the capsid proteins and other proteins needed for viral assembly. In spliced form, the RNA also codes for the envelope proteins and other auxiliary proteins. Envelope proteins are produced in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, ER, and then move through the Golgi apparatus before arriving at the cell surface. Full-length viral RNA molecules, along with all the other viral components, assemble at the membrane and bud off from the host cell. Although it's not clear exactly how HIV curtails the immune response or causes destruction of helper T cells, the viral infection ultimately results in loss of virtually all functional helper T cells in the immune system.